You don't seem surprised to see me. Well, I'm not. And I bet I know why you're here. I doubt that. <laughs> well, you're a Logan, so I can only assume that you're here to either berate me or ask me for something. Actually, I'm here to thank you. I hear you've offered my family a deal. You've talked to Donna? Brooke, so you're really going to let my brother get away with shooting you? I offered to do your family a good turn. I was hoping that Donna would do the same for me. Right, by walking away from Eric. I'm assuming she turned you down? You think she's going to choose my husband over her brother going to prison? Well, we haven't heard from her since last night. I thought maybe she was too embarrassed to come home. Well, even she couldn't let her own brother go to prison. You know, Donna's waited an awfully long time for her knight in shining armor. Too bad she chose the wrong knight. He just happens to be married to me. Yeah, maybe she should have waited until he wasn't married to you. <laughs> As though I never expected to hear one of you girls say something like that. I warned her not to get involved with a married man. I was afraid she might get hurt. It's too bad she didn't listen to you. You might want to listen to me now. Your actions toward my family have been reprehensible, and you haven't changed at all. No, you're wrong. I have. I'm not the same woman that used to interfere in the relationship between Ridge and Brooke. Right. You've moved up in the world. You're now using our family crisis to come between Donna and Eric. Oh, well, forgive me if I see it from a slightly different vantage point. He is my husband, and I would like him back. I'd like to spend the rest of my days with the man that I love, with my children, my grandchildren, you know, my family. You're blackmailing my family. Wait a minute. Your sister came to me and asked me to help your family. It's only altruism if you don't expect anything in return. Oh, I see. And would you rather have had your father and your brother fend for themselves with the district attorney and the police? Listen, Katie, I let you into my home and I listened to everything you had to say. But the truth is, I'm the one that came up with the solution to this whole mess. Changing tactics is not the kind of change I was talking about. You think being shot hasn't changed me? Hasn't made me reevaluate my, my priorities, my values? I'm sorry for what my brother did to you. You do know he needs help. He'll get it. Thanks to me. No, thanks to Donna. If she keeps her end of the bargain. Look, I am prepared to go to the police, make the statement that will release your father, and the truth is your, 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 your brother's name won't even come into this mess. Okay. Okay? I'm giving your family a fresh start here. Why can't all of you embrace that and be happy and joyful about it? Just leave my family alone, all right? Stephanie, I want you out of our lives just as badly as you want us out of yours. Well, let's just hope it's a matter of time, then. Believe me, I'm waiting on pins and needles to hear either from Eric or your sister. Don't you think it's a little odd that you haven't heard anything yet? I don't know. I mean, all I know is that they're at, at the cabin at Big Bear. You know, even if she does break things off with him, there's no guarantee that Eric will come back to you. He will. And you're okay with that? You're okay taking a man back who's in love with another woman. Eric and I have been through this many times before. What if you're reading the situation completely wrong? What if he really is Donna's knight in shining armor and he decides to help her? What if she tells him everything? You know, if he finds out that you've been blackmailing her, you could lose him forever. I don't believe your sister's going to do that because she does understand the consequences. Your brother will go to prison, period. 